Engineer man here, time to use buffer overflows to exploit a vulnerable program. No time to waste, let's do this. Okay, so this video is a follow-up to a previous video which I did a little bit ago which talked about buffer overflows. This video is just putting that into practice. If you haven't watched the first video, check the description below for a link and go to that video, pause this one first, watch that video, come back, and then watch this video. Okay, let's just jump right in. So I've created a deliberately vulnerable program. It's absolutely vulnerable, I did it on purpose. And the way the program is supposed to work is there's a password setup called secret exclamation mark, and then the user enters a password. It compares those passwords to see if they match, and if they do, it sets the flag authorized to one. Then on here it says if authorized, and then in this case it just says password to correct, but it could allow some privileged function of this program. So we establish our variables. Authorize is set up as zero to start. There's syspass, which, which holds 16 bytes, and we have the word secret with exclamation mark in it. And then we have 16 bytes for user pass, which will get filled out when the user types in the password. So it'll print enter password. We'll use scanf to get the value of that password. And then here we're just doing some logging. Just, just to show you, we're going to run this a number of times. So we have to we're going to print out user pass, this pass, and the auth val just to see what the current values are for those three variables. And then we're going to print out the memory addresses for each. That way we can review the actual alignment of the memory. So let's just run the program with nothing at all right off the bat. Enter password, we'll just put A. See what happens. So user pass is A, sys pass is secret, exclamation mark, and auth val is zero. Great. So let's look at this memory alignment. So user pass is located at 10 in hexadecimal. SysPass is located at 20, which means it is 16 bytes to the right of user pass. And then the authorized variable is located at 3C, which is one, two, like 13 bytes to the right of SysPass, something like that. Anyways, let's add a different value here. So now we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 A's. And then it's going to add the null terminator as well, which will be a total of 16 characters. And you'll see that everything is still fine. The user pass was fine. Secret is still there. Auth val is still one. Great. Now remember, these are only 16, meaning what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put more than 16. And we're going to do a buffer overflow. Let's clear this out. So now I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And 16 plus the null terminator is going to be 17, which means, oh no, syspass has now disappeared. Not good. Okay, now let's do the actual overflow. So we have 16 A's here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to run the program once more. We're going to put enough A's to fill the user pass. We're going to then put enough A's to fill the sys pass because it's writing off the end of the user pass. And then we're going to, let me just run it one more time because I want to actually see it as I'm doing it. So basically this is going to be A's to fill from 3-0 to 4-0. This is going to be A's to fill from 4-0 to 5-0. And then we have to fill from 5-0 to 5-C. So we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is the maximum it can hold before there's an actual overflow into the auth val. So we'll notice that while it's still messed up, data is all messed up here. User pass is way more than it can hold. Sys pass is holding part of a user pass because it's totally overwritten. Auth val is still zero though. Now let's seal the deal. So we're going to put that thing and we're going to put the letter A. Now this A is going to the memory address of authval. When we hit enter, oh no, authval is 97 now. And down here it says the password is correct and it executed what is potentially a privileged function of the program. The reason it's 97 is because if you look at your ASCII chart, you'll see that the lowercase a has a decimal value of 97, meaning it actually stored 97 in that memory location and then when we output it of course it was 97 so that's where that came from 
And that's it. Hopefully everyone is smart having watched this video. If I forgot to cover something or you'd like to request a video, post a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.